Let's take a quick look-see of multitasking gestures, which came new with iOS 5 on the iPad. I think a lot of people aren't using them, and they're actually uh, pretty good and uh, saves you a lot of time and stuff. So uh, as people know, or as you probably know, um, let, let's say you're in an app like Safari. If you want to get back to um, your home screen, you would just press the home button, and you can go back to your home screen. Or you can always double-tap it to bring up this multitasking bar on the bottom to choose a different app. And then you can go to a different app that way, like Netflix or whatever. Um, but with multitasking gestures enabled, and I'll show you how to enable that in this video, but with that enabled, you can actually uh, do it much faster. Like, let's say I want to go back to my home screen. I would just use four or five fingers and pinch in, and then I'm in immediately I'm instantly at back on my home screen. Or let's say I'm in, in an app and I want to bring up the multitasking uh, bar, I would just swipe up, and then with four fingers or five fingers, and then I could have the multitasking bar. Uh, also, if you're in an app with four or five fingers, if you want to go to another running app or another app that's in your um, multitasking bar, just use four or five fingers and go left or right. And as you can see, I'm going through the different open apps. So this is you know Safari, Netflix, uh, YouTube. You know, can go probably to my mail. There's my mail. So it's uh, quite easy, and it just makes things a lot faster. And you don't always have to go back to this home button which uh, is very convenient so I do highly recommend it so let me show you how to get this working and um, make sure that it's activated you go to settings general and then make sure multitasking gestures is on so basically to sum up with multitasking gestures you can use four or five fingers to pinch to the home screen swipe up to reveal multitasking bar swipe left or right between apps so I do find it quite useful and again just go to the home button home screen just go like that and I'm there. So I hope you found this helpful. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them and I will see you in my next video.